to all, he competes. Uh, the one thing I love about Thomas is he just plays hard. Um, he tries to make the right plays. Uh, he's improved his uh, outside shot. He's athletic. He's um, long, athletic. Uh, gets, I thought he did a good job getting us into our offense and finding some plays for our guys. Talk about Jody Meeks. Yeah, he gives us a, a knockdown shooter off the bench. He's a 40% three-point shoot, plus 40% three-point shooter in the way he shoots. And with um, our playmaking guards, I think he can get a lot of open shots, and that's what, that's why we brought him in. And I showed tonight, he does a good job of moving without the basketball, uh, and he, he's a veteran player. He kind of knows where to be. Uh, you know, when, when John is with him, he's, John's going to find him a lot of shots. Brad can find him a lot of shots tonight. Yeah, he did a good job of um, moving without the ball and getting open. Coach, what are some of the things that you're looking at from Chris McCullough that you think that can help him try to get on the court this season? Well, his athleticism is something that is, it's high level. Um, you know, he plays above the rim. He still is going to have to get a little stronger with his body to, to, to play through the physicality of games. Uh, I, I like how I like how he complete, uh, competes. Uh, I thought he had a, a solid game tonight. He made a jump shot. Uh, he missed one. He got some lobs and right at the basket. He's, a, he's a, another long, athletic um, player. We think we can, you know, continue to work with him. And it's going to be hard to get minutes. Uh, we have a lot of guys at that spot, but you know, you never know. He just has to keep working and be ready. Coach, it seemed like Jason Smith had a lot of wide open looks tonight, but some of them didn't fall. Is it a matter of getting him different looks, or, or is, is that what you guys are looking for? No, we, we want him to, his strength and his, um, is a big asset for our team when he makes threes. And he's give him a lot of credit. He's worked uh, last season to become a pretty good three-point shooter and all summer long he has. Well, I like when he faces the floor behind the three-point line. I mean, he, he, he can make 17, 18-foot jump shots, but now I think, you know, the last year and a half, he's really improved his range, and I think it's going to help us. He plays hard. He's another guy. We want to establish how we play, and that's playing hard every night, and he's one of the guys that brings intensity each and every night. Speaking of that, uh, what do you think about Kerry Felix? Oh, he's, that that he's, he's a play-hard guy. He has one speed, he has one, uh, every time he's on the practice court, every time he's on the game floor, he plays hard. And you can never have enough of those guys, and he, you know, he gives us another player like that. He's fighting for a job, and you know, he's played well in training camp, he had a good first game. Scott, does Mike Scott have any health issues? He's had, uh, you know, last, last season he had the uh, ankle surgery, but He's been, um, we kept him out one practice just because we were going um, every day during training camp. We had a couple of night session, sessions of shooting. Uh, no, I only want to play him a few minutes because uh, those are the minutes that he's going to play. Uh, tonight I wanted to see Chris a little bit. So, I mean, it's so early and we're exhibition season. We're testing a lot of different lineups. But I think he's, uh, he's, could be a, he's going to be a good um, player for us. Seeing any progress uh, with Sheldon Mack in terms of his ball handling and like mm -hmm. you know, a little bit more confident passing the ball. He's a attack player. He can get to the he can get to the rack. Um, he has ability to finish around the in the paint and he make and tonight he did a good job of getting open or getting guys open shots. Uh, he gave uh, Chris a couple of lobs and a couple of drop off passes. That's something that he's worked on and something that he's got to continue to get better. But I like the, the fact tonight he put pressure up the court uh, on the defensive end because I think that's a, a, an area that he needs to get better with. Do you think he was a little bit too aggressive at all, picking up six fouls within you know, 20? Yeah, I mean, the, the players were giving him a hard time, you know, six fouls in 20 minutes. But that, stuff like that doesn't bother me. He's not going to play um, big minutes when we have our entire team. Uh, he's he's a guy that uh, he can score defensively. He's has good size. Uh, he picked up a couple of uh, fouls up top, but you know fouls. I'm not I'm not worried about the fouls. I like aggressive play.
Do you think it's been a concerted effort from Kelly Oubre to have him be kind of more of a playmaker? He was very aggressive tonight, you know, kind of attacking the basket. Well, he's definitely uh, exp experimenting out there, and we're we're, we're going to see what he's what he can do and what he how he, how he can fit in with our team uh, as his offense continues to uh, evolve. You know, I'm going to have to let him play through some of the mistakes. Uh, but I, I like how he plays defensively. It, as long as he focuses on the defensive end, I'm going to allow him to, you know, dribble the ball a little more than he's used to dribbling. Because uh, he has improved. You know, you've got to give him credit. He's worked on it, and he deserves to be um, put in positions where he can be a little bit of a, a guy that can move the basketball. And, and But, you know, when, he, when he's active defensively and he leads the break from his steals, I have no problem with that. He's worked on his outside shot, and you can see it, it has gotten better. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.